Janelle Hoyne, one of six Fort Warmie basketball players on the state championship volleyball team in the fall. Lady Redskins taking on Waterford in the D4 state final. First quarter, senior Kelly Turner got him started off right off glass for the first two points of the game. Moments later, Jessica Berger keeps the play alive, gets it to Janelle Hoyne. Fort Warmy did not make a three in the state semis against Highland, 0 for 10. Janelle makes sure that doesn't happen again. Lady Skins up 8-2 early. Late in the first, Berger to Holly Fry. Warmy leads 14-9 after one to the second quarter. Nice teamwork as Berger hits Hoyne. She flips it to Fry, 10 points and 10 boards for Fry as the Redskins extend the lead. And Berger lobs inside for Kelly Turner. Smooth finish. The lead is up to 8, 26, 18, Fort Warming. Right before the end of the half, Berger spots up from the top of the key and hits the triple, 29-20, Redskins at the break. Warmy with the momentum heading into the third, and they didn't waste it. Hoyne lobs to Turner. She lays it in, and then Jess Berger took over. First, the three from the corner. This gives her team a 12-point lead. Now getting a little extra attention from Waterford, but the junior up for the challenge. The head fake right around the defender. Two more for Berger. In transition now, tracks down the ball, scores with the right hand from the left side, 42-31 Warmy. Still in the third quarter. Turner drives, spins, and scores 15 points, six rebounds in 29 minutes for the senior. Fourth quarter now, back to Berger. Nice backdoor cut, lay-in falls. The lead is 13, Wormy is in control. And Berger wasn't done yet. Off the dribble, the running left-handed finished 25 points, seven rebounds. Wormy by 10 with six minutes to go, but Waterford fighting back. A little scoring drought helped the Wildcats draw within five, and Allie Kern makes it a three-point game, 48-45. But that's as close as it would get. Hoyne finds Fry. She seals the deal. Fort Warmie wins 55-48 to capture their Division IV state title. It's their second gold trophy in three years. It got close there at the end, but Carla Siegel and company have had their eye on the prize all year long, and now they are the state champs. We knew this morning when we got up for breakfast that they were focused. Um, they had an agenda for today and they stuck with it. Even when things got scary there in that fourth quarter, they weren't ready to give up. They wanted to finish it and by golly they did. Well, I tried to calm everyone down. Um, they didn't seem to get it until when we needed help under pressure because we're not very good under pressure. And so like when it got down to the end, it was kind of like scary, but we finished it. So that's all that matters. When that final buzzer went off, and I just, I was like, oh my gosh, I'm a state champion again. And it's a crazy feeling because you can't do it without your teammates. So it's just awesome to know that I know I, I won two state championships along with some other girls on the team. But like, it's just awesome to be with your teammates and share this feeling because it's something that doesn't come very often. This is the best senior class. We've got volleyball players on this team that have three state medals. Uh, that's just unheard of in, in, our, in the Port Army community. So yes, the senior class. Great leadership. I mean, there's been many great senior classes in Army history that have gone through. And I think sometimes to win a state championship like this, it takes a little bit of luck with a lot of talent. And maybe some of those teams just didn't have the luck that they needed. And I think we just got that luck this year. You know, a lot of people at the beginning of the year did not think we were going to be a good team and that we'd be back here. These girls always thought differently. They've worked hard and they've put forth the effort. Um, they, they do what we ask for the most part. And um, I just, I, I'm so proud of them.